So, hey, I am in the shop, right? I had just in a text conversation with my friend, um, Rachel, in Houston, Texas, who's making a sash, and she said, look at the sash I made, and she did an awesome job. And she said she's got a whole bunch more of these to make. And, um, you know, I, I met Rachel, I don't know how many years ago, on a job in Houston. I was working on the... Um, the Heights Church, and she was a helper on that church, and then um, I encouraged her to go off and start her own entity, and she's got um, a window craft business. She calls it Plum Alley Window Craft, and she's doing a great job out there. She's doing work all over, and of course, part of what makes a window restoration business possible is the ability to make a window sash and to be making and, and to make it fast and so she's like you know she's doing her due diligence and uh, learning the ropes and figuring it out and so anyway i was really glad to see what she sent and i said well i would only change one thing and i could tell instantly by looking at what she sent me that um this is one thing i would change and what is that is that she is using what's called a through tenon that's two inches and i would have her change that to a one and a half inch tenon and don't go all the way through what a one and a half inch tenon and don't go all the way through okay well that's what this little video is about and i'll see if i can't get the explanation out um to you in a way that makes some kind of sense all right so anyway, talk to you soon. All right, I got some sash parts milled up right there because I actually do have to make a sash for this job um, I'm working on. I'll show it to you because why not, okay? Ah, there's those store windows I'm working on. It shows you ready to finish those. Um, this sash, boom, right here. I mean, I don't know if you can tell or not, but this, this sash right here was in a... Um, Window with a window unit air conditioner, and over time, the uh, bottom rail just went crazy. So it's kind of broken and rotted and stuff like that. So we're going to make a new sash for that one. All right. So that's part of the ability, you know, the reason why you want to make new sashes. St. Petersburg job, Ybor City job. Um, no job coming up. Maybe if he gives me a deposit. Okay, so look, um, these are these sash I pulled out of the dumpster the other day, and I just, uh, I like, these are really, really freaking cool. But, beside the point, look, this is a, a meeting rail, okay, for the bottom sash, and this is the top rail for the top sash, okay? And look, look how long that tenon is, okay? The tenon does not go all the way to the outside edge, it goes to there, okay? And this tenon here, does not go all the way to the outside edge, it goes to there. And that's pretty smart. Why? Well, this meeting rail here has to be cut off. You know, for those of you who are in the know, that has to be that short because that's where the parting bead goes, all right? You know, that's, that's what allows the, the, the window to slide up and down. Well, guess what? You know, you don't have to have a full length tenon here or here, right? Because you know, that's where the pulley trough goes and you're going to cut it off anyway. All right. So I decided a long time ago that I need not do a through tenon. Okay. Because look, this tenon here, this meeting rail tenon, the top sash, um, is that this is a two inch tenon. All right. So is this, that's a different setup. These two are different setups then down there and I only wanted one setup okay so I figured well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna house these guys in place you see that so let me go now let me show you my my rail that I did here okay so this is my bottom sash rail that I'm making okay or not my rail this is my styles and I've got my mortise here okay look See, my mortise does not go all the way through down to the bottom, okay? 
same on that one. Okay, and it does not go all the way through the other side. See that? Okay. So the same length tenon that's gonna be here is gonna be in there. I've been doing that way for years, all right? And so look, this is my, my meeting rail tenons, okay? So I've just made. This is my bottom rail tenon I have just made, okay? Notice with me that these are the exact same length, all right? So I'm already speeding things up, right? By cutting these at the exact same time. I don't have to have a two inch longer tenon on this one and a shorter tenon on this one, okay? I just cut them at the same time and my tenons are the same length. See that? Boom, all right? And then they cut them the same length I can take them over to my my tenoning saw right here where I put my piece on. Boom, okay? And I make my tenons to go on there. And then, let's see, my, my, my meeting rail demonstration. My meeting rail goes there. Same length tenon. Then I put my meeting rail then here in my tenoning jig. And that goes you know, over this guy. Okay, so that's that's how I get that. That's one setup. So I've got two set two saws here, and that's all I need to make my sashes. You see that? Okay, so I'm trying to simplify things instead of complexify. So one and a half inch tenons. So um, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the camera off in a second because I gotta put my pulley trough on here. And I'm gonna show you if I put it put when I put the pulley trough in here, it's gonna total make total sense that I don't need to go all the way through here. See that? Alright. Okay. So here's my pulley trough I just made. And, and you can see that pulley trough just totally eliminates any need for a tenon to go all the way through here. See that? So that's an inch and a half tenon all day long. Bump. Now I'm gonna take it over. I'm gonna finish milling all the parts on my sash factory over there and I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay, so I got my parts milled up. I've got my meeting rail here and i'm going to drop it into this piece right here okay let's see if i can get that oh we got it backwards um this end goes in okay and look maybe i don't need a two inch tenon oh. nope so if that tenon is good enough for that joint right there then in my mind, that tenon length is also good enough for this joint right here. Boom. Okay. Ta -da. Excellent. See that? Okay, now put this together. Can I do that with one hand? It's kind of hard to do with one hand. Ah, it's falling apart. All right. Boom. So you can see, I mean, it's a perfectly good, acceptable sash with one and a half inch tenons. Okay. So hope well, I hope that makes sense to you. Okay. Why I would do a one and a half inch tenon instead of a two inch tenon. All right. It just kind of speeds things up. Now, if you want to, you can still go all the way through if you want to, all right? You, you can. There's nothing wrong with doing that, right? Okay? So some people really, really want to go all the way through, okay? And that's okay because by the time you're finished with one sash, I will have done two. See that? Okay, because it takes less setups, less cuts, less measuring, you know, all this kind of stuff. And boom, you're done. So anyway, um, love you guys. Hope you like that. Talk to you later. Bye.